You may see just a white golf ball sitting on this tee. But when you take that golf ball into the STEM zone, it looks aerodynamical. You see this golf ball. We, we see, see weight, lift, lift thrust, thrust, and drag. drag. Aerodynamics is the way air moves around things. Things like a golf ball. Or a frisbee. Or even a dog. The word aerodynamics comes from two Greek words, aerios, of the air, and dunamis, which means power, strength, or force. The rules of aerodynamics explain flight, rules you have to know to engineer things that go fast, from a racing car to a private jet. To better understand those rules, humans first studied birds. Leonardo da Vinci recorded his observations on aerodynamics in 1505 with his codex on the flight of birds. Birds like the albatross quickly master two forces of aerodynamics, lift and weight. Spreading their wings into the wind gives them the necessary lift to counter their own weight and hang in the air as long as they like. Unlike man, who's tried to do the same thing, but with different results. That's going to leave a mark. With the invention of golf, man encountered two other forces of aerodynamics, thrust and drag. Thrust is the force that keeps an object moving forward. Drag is an opposite force that slows something down and makes it harder for an object to move. This golf cart has enough thrust to push it through air, but not enough to counter the drag of the water. What a drag. The shape of an object changes the amount of drag. Most rounded surfaces have less drag than flat ones. The more air hitting a surface, the more drag there is. Which brings us to dimples. Uh, no, these. In the STEM zone, we can see how all these dimples make a golf ball more aerodynamic. Of course, thrust for a golf ball is provided by a golf club. While the air the ball is traveling through produces the drag force, dimples on golf balls do two important things. They reduce drag and increase lift. The airflow around a golf ball with no dimples is wider. This creates a thick wake behind the ball and more drag. Adding dimples to a golf ball creates a thinner wake behind the ball and less drag. So a dimpled golf ball travels farther than a smooth one. Due to the golf club's loft or angle when striking the ball, in almost every shot, the golf ball is spinning backwards. This backspin generates lift by changing the airflow around the ball, similar to an airplane wing. Dimples on the ball enhance this effect, increase lift, and help the ball fly higher and farther. So the next time you see a golf ball on a tee, remember what the 336 dimples on the ball do inside the stem zone. They make that small, round sphere an aerodynamic dynamo. Stem zone, energy for learning. <laughs>